Hi, my name is Charles Mayhew. I'm the SolidWorks Electrical Product Manager for Hawk Ridge Systems. Today I want to discuss the new Auto Connect feature for the origin and destination arrows. Now in the past, if we wanted to connect up the wires from one page to another, we used origin and destination arrows. We're still going to do that. but. This time, instead of using the manage origins, which we would in the past, right, and then come here and say single insertion, there is an auto connect option here also. Now, if I click that, you notice it didn't do anything. And that's because my wires aren't set up correctly. So let's take a look at what we need to do to get that to function correctly. So we'll close the origin and destination manager. First thing is our wires need to be of the same wire style. Okay, so our neutral line needs to be of the same neutral line and our 24 volt AC and 24 volt AC. Remember to keep in mind the stock wire styles, there's three neutrals. So make sure you select the right one to get that. All right. Secondly, is we need to make sure the equipotential number is the same for each wire. So in this particular case, we're going to set the equipotential for our neutral wire. So I'll just come in here into the equipotential properties, just increase it by one, which gives me an N1. I'll go ahead and click OK. And we'll do our 24 volt AC wire right here. Do an equipotential properties plus one. It's going to give us one. We'll be good on that. So we'll click OK. Now we'll go to our control page, which is where I want to connect up to. So here's our 24 volt AC. I'll go into my echo potential properties and if I press one, the plus it's going to give me two. So what I want to do is come back in here, hit the down arrow, gives me one. But it is going to warn me at the bottom that I cannot create a duplicate mark or autom in automatic mode. So I'll just click manual. Now I'm in manual mode. It says it won't be unique so that's okay though. That's the, We don't want it to be. We'll click OK. We're going to do the same thing for our neutral wire. So echo potential properties. And then we'll just go to plus to give us two, down back to one, and then you go ahead and say manual. Same thing, click OK. Now that our wires have the same echo potential across the page, so our 24 volt AC on both pages are shown as echo potential one, and our neutral for the 24 volt AC is also showing as N1. Okay, so now we could go into our origin and destinations manager, or we can just hit the little down arrow right here, and we have an auto insertion option here now. Just go ahead and click, go, uh, click on that, and then we got some options here. We can say whole project, current book, and do all that. We can change our origin and destination arrows that we want, and then action. I'm going to say auto connect. Click OK and now I'm connected up. So it does give me the arrows that are indication and I can click back and forth. So thanks for viewing. Today we took a look at the auto insertion option or auto connect option for origin and destination arrows. Once again, thanks for viewing.